hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i'm going to show you a very simple way to view this console window inside your mobile application so uh, you can see that we can in console we can see our errors and logs inside unity editor but when we build our game for android or ios uh, you will not be able to see this console window so uh, to view this console for any errors in your mobile application uh, you have to download this uh, free plugin called log viewer it's from dream makers group and it's totally free and it's i think uh, 1 mb or less than 1 mb so uh, uh, this is very uh, useful if you are uh, creating an online uh, app, a game uh, and you are creating a multiplayer game so uh, to detect runtime errors uh, uh, you can use this log viewer uh, or you can if you are uh, um, if you are uh, integrating google play services or leaderboard and google mobile ads then this plugin is also very useful so uh, to uh, download this from asset store and import it in your assets folder so you can see that i have this package right here now uh, i am having two errors here um, because uh, the plugin was created in the uh, previous versions of unity so uh, we are having some compilation errors so uh, just click on this first error and it will take you to this script in the reporter.cs so right here we have two compile time errors so uh, because uh, it was created in the previous version so uh, a lot of uh, properties were deprecated so we need to change them so first uh, replace this ox web player with osx player and uh, also this windows web player with windows player now save the script and go back to unity so uh, wait for it to compile right here you can see that in this bottom corner now all the errors are gone so uh, let's open this reporter folder and inside we have a folder called test and in here we have a scene called reporter scene now uh, double click on this scene so as you can see that we have our scene now if i play this game you can see that uh, we have our console window inside our game but uh, you will not see this console so let me show you what i changed so i have so uh, uh, you, now you will see this screen so it says draw a circle on screen to show log so you have to hold your mouse button and draw a circle so you will see this console window so it has a lot of options you can uh, see your uh, memory usage and uh, you can clear the console by this clicking on this button and uh, we can also change the zoom <clears throat> and there is a button to close this console now how to use this inside your scene so i have a sample scene here 
now uh, before that what you need to do is uh, you need to again go to that reporter scene and uh, this is uh, select this reporter and uh, disable this test reporter script so we need we don't need any test logs and drag this reporter inside your assets folder to make it a prefab so you know you can see that now it's it is blue so it means that it is a prefab now inside our scene we have a sample scene here now drag this reporter prefab into your hierarchy and we need to add another script to it called reporter GUI so a reporter GUI script add this script and now play it now again draw the circle and you will see your console because we don't have any errors in our console errors or warnings or logs so we are not seeing anything so you can test it by creating a script and logging something to uh, view this log so uh, that's it for this video and i will see you in my next video so if you like the video kindly subscribe and like this video